Hi, it's me. I um, I just want to do a test to see if my head cam that I got for my Arcos, which is this thing. Too weird to have to move your head. Where are you? See why I got a test? This is stupid. Where do I put it? It's not there. There it is. Kind of. Hi. Hello. Anywho. There's this, uh, pa there's this pattern called cabled herringbone. I love herringbone. Flat herringbone would look pretty much like that. But there's this really, really hard way to do the twist thing. So they overlap the two center double stacks. Then you leave the sides alone and it makes it scoop in on the sides so that you don't have a, you know, just a real straight side to your bracelet. It's basically does an over under over under thing. And my first one I did in black with bronze, actually mud brick, seed beads. And I like it, you can see through them. They're very flexible. But this one's full of goofs because I couldn't get past that. Only video there stopped at the first twist. And then I got like all kind of confused. So you can see it's basically looks stupid. Um, my second one turned out perfect. This part right there is right. That's what it's supposed to look like. But, as I said, I have to test this camera because I just don't know. I don't know if it'll show. Those are little tiny size 15 hexes that you see sparkling along the edges. Whenever you make the turn in herringbone, you have to either just go up the bead or put something really cool like a size 15 Delica hexagon. So anyway, this like feels really cool. Goes on easy. No one really knows about the boo-boos unless they know about cabled herringbone. I can't really make myself rip it out. What the heck? Anywho, Lisa from Beyond Bracelets on YouTube I happened to find her channel because I wanted to make this leather wrapped bracelet for my granddaughter Emma first school first day of school which was yesterday oops and her one of her tutorials showed up and um, she makes friendship bracelets that are really really cool god she's been doing it for nine years it's amazing so anywho I had had a beaten button um, video I watched but then I wanted more so, I was making them sideways like this, so I was working at this like super scrunched up angle, and it wasn't very comfy. She put hers on a clipboard, the loop. My loop is hiding underneath. My loop's like there with a, with a cool little flower. But anyway, I made it so that I'm going to, she's going to be able to just slip it on instead of doing the loop. And then just, where does she pull from? I forgot. Takes the long part there and just pulls. And it's snug enough. This black chunk I'm using was hard to get through that flowered button. So it's just really easy to slide. But you can still pull on it and it won't just slip out. But I kind of like those cute little pink beads. They turned out pretty cool. So, um, anyway, this is just a test. I don't know if... I know I'll make a, a VOB file. This is a uh, herringbone with... Vine green Toho cubes. And again, I used the little tiny 15s on the... 
the very edges. You can, I don't think you can see them. This, I don't think this camera's going to work. I'll have to do the camcorder properly because my little, um, my two little cameras, I don't like the movies they make. They're just like all pixely and I don't like that. So, this is my reptilian eyes are watching you. Some fire polished check beads. Some <laughs> Mayuki triangles. And this is actually a tube. Like a total tube. And then I just herring boned around the eyes and put basic beading wire through the whole darn thing. And then just did a bunch of copper and Swarovski copper crystals and squares and that I antique copper a lot. But this is gonna go um I this is gonna go to the store. I want to put my stuff on a display case. So I made that one. Oh of course there's another earring but that's very night and I like that. I want to make me one of the blue for me. And some right angle weave. Right angle weave. Four millimeter cubies. Little cubies. And um, I don't know what else. It doesn't really matter because this is a test. So this is like, this is red bead. So my beading mess. I, I really did have it cleaned up, I swear. And then, and then I just like, you know, got carried away. This is out in my garage. So much for my car. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I saved a little room for my car. These are just my, all my clasping findings and stuff more tools than I need, um, bags of beads, two boxes of, two boxes of, gosh, I hope that, oh, shoot, I forgot about that dumb microphone, it's clear over there on the side, yeah, these, are so sparkly. I love sparkles. And then I've got another one. It's full of pretty colored Swarovskis. I still can't really pronounce that right. And of course, I might shake it up here a little bit my collection of all my wonderful little brass and antique brass and all my fun fun stuff million jump rings chains and little flowers and, and you know little oopsie where am I hi um cool bronze Got another one that's for bracelets. I haven't used it yet. There's a watch I'm gonna make. This is like a really cool watch. Oops, still in the bag, it'll look bad. But it's scalloped and it's antique copper colored. I really like that color. I like it. And I like it with This awesome color. I don't know if you can see that. These are my delicate size 11. And then, just because I'm a lunatic. Oh, oh yeah. I make rings too. I have to get it to shine. That's color number 23, Delica. Christina calls it oil slick. She works at, she has her own studio and she works at Talisman, my favorite bead store. Probably the 
only bead store in town, too. So, okay, mess. This is my office in the garage. <laughs> Just, oops, one thing. My lights on. That's from my karate days. If I hit it now, it'll hurt my hand. Can't be doing that. So, when you come over here, I haven't put this back in my garage yet because I don't have any room. And these are one side, one whole box is seed beads of all sizes plus cubes, little bitty 1.8s. And dang, this is getting boring. It's like seven minutes. These are all my delicas. I'd get into my favorites, but the lighting is really bad in here. All the metal ones. Rhodium. Rhodium, so cool. And then some size tins. Like that's big. Right. And my cubes. Oh crap, I love my cubes. These are really cool color. I don't think you can see it though. So anyway, we'll see if my test of this camera works since I got it like probably four years ago, and um, I think I used it once, but yeah, I was wearing it upside down. This is my wall of, this is my wall of pictures, my grandbabies, big pictures of my grandbabies. That's my three little sweethearts. That's Hudson on the left, and Kaya next to him, and Emma, the oldest, is on the bottom. And I think that's it. We had to do this because Mike, he was a pyro. <laughs> I really like to blow stuff up. Okay, folks. I'd like to thank Lisa from Beyond Bracelets for inspiring me to get back to my YouTube channel, which I have sorely neglected and anyway if it works cool I'll go ahead and I'll uh, I'll do the the toot the toot for this with color because silver you can't see it so I'll have to start it first so anybody wants to learn you gotta learn flat herringbone first and there's free tutorials everywhere online and it's super easy so signing off, ciao, my friends.